Solomon sir and today I just would like to tell you uh, something that you have done uh, from this recent examination alright I have found that many of you are not serious at all uh, in your answering the questions okay and I found that uh, not all of you but there are a few students who have just written the answers alright like for example letter writing and notice and email okay just for the sake of writing okay there are very many things that you need to put it in your head before you write an answer okay I have given you plenty of questions okay we are uh, dealing with that deal that deals with both the formal and informal letters and I have not uploaded the video of formal letters so today I am going to do that so before I do that there are uh, other stuff as well that grammar portion many of you have done blunders right so please pay attention in the grammar portions I have already given you 10 years solve the grammar portion all the categories with an explanation in the class so please go through that okay so let's deal with today's topic that is formal letters informal letters I have already explained to you so formal letters the first important thing that you need to put it in your head is you have to be formal you cannot write whatever you feel like writing when you are opting for the formal letters, okay? So the formal letter should be to the point. You cannot exaggerate, all right? To the point you need to write. What is asking the question? To the point, okay? Do not write unnecessary stuff. You are not allowed to write unnecessary stuff whenever you are writing formal letters, okay? That means to the point. Write what is asked in the question. Some of you simply exaggerate the thing and you put a some kind of suggestion which is which is not achievable at all. So you need to be very reasonable. Even if you are asked uh, in the question to give some suggestions, your suggestions should be reasonable, achievable. Okay. So do not write a kind of futuristic suggestion which is not achievable at all. So write what is asked in the question. Paragraph is important or mandatory. This I have told you time and again in the class. I have told you in several videos as well that paragraph is mandatory. There has to be, uh, there have to be three paragraphs, all right? And last is for the format. And I have told you that there is a there is a reward for following the format. Also, you get marks if you follow the correct format. Three marks you will be given in the formal letter just for, just for following the formats. Okay, so this is these are this this is the format I have. Your address first. This is we have done it from class eight, so I am just uh, going in quite quite quickly. So for your address first, then comes date, okay? Then comes sender's address to whom you are sending. That will be in the question itself. Salutation that is dear sir or madam. Then comes the subject. Now here is a confusion that is taking place in you. You write the subject first and the salutation. No, okay. First is salutation and the subject. Then comes the body of letter. I have written the whole letter. Here you need to write three paragraph. Okay? Then subscriptions, yours faithfully, and then comes your full name. This is the format of the letter writing. Okay? And after each of these, you need to put paragraph. Paragraph. It is mandatory. I suggest you to leave a line. Okay, leave a line after each and even in the paragraph you just leave a line when you separate one one paragraph. Okay, so th this is the format and these are the points that you need to remember. So together with this I will be giving you a question. Okay, try to solve. I will be giving you only one question. So do that and send it to me in my personal WhatsApp number. Okay, thank you class.